what's up guys Trex here back with another minecraft video for you today and today i'm going to be showing off my custom faithful resource pack i have finally completed it at least version 1.0 there will probably be some patches in the future with new blocks and maybe i'll edit the swords but um i'm here with a random minecraft video today because i'm off schedule by a day or so uh i didn't make a minecraft video this week um so Sunday was uh, Terraria, and then I on Monday I recorded Hobbitcraft instead of a random Minecraft video. So like there wasn't a mini game that day, uh, which I completely forgot about. So it put me off schedule. And then yesterday I recorded a uh, Trex plays, even though it should have been uploaded today or made today. Um, so I'm just kind of correcting. Sorry, the videos are out of order, but I'm finally showing off my resource pack. There's going to be a link in the uh, links below section of my description in every video saying, like, download my Minecraft resource pack. There will be a picture on screen now. So, uh, finally, I'm going to be showing this off. Um, it's going to be a media fire link, maybe a planet Minecraft eventually, but I don't know. So, uh, to kick it off, you've seen it a bit before in old Hobbitcraft SMP videos where I just had, like, the green beds and the different water. Speaking of water, I forgot the water. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done with it, finally. Well, I guess I can just show you that water. But, um, let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, first off, we've got all the different ores in their blocks. We've got the quartz ore, nothing changed. The quartz block, uh, and the quartz ore. Oh, this is the quartz, that's the quartz block, and that's the quartz ore. So for all of the ores, I took the block that they spawn on, uh, re uh, replaced their ore texture with the default, like, stone and netherrack texture, and then put the item texture over that, and I think that it looks really nice, and I like it, because it's a lot easier to identify. So, here's the quartz ore, here's the coal ore, or the coal, the coal block, and the coal ore, the iron, there's no changes to the iron or coal blocks, and the iron ore, there's the gold, the gold block, no changes again, and the gold ore, there's the lapis, the lapis block I did change to look more like a diamond and gold block, and I kind of like it, I might change it to something different in the future, because it looks too metallic, looks too much like the other metals to really be like a um whatever lapis is a stone uh a, a gem no i'm gonna go with a stone and there's the lapis ore here's the redstone the redstone block i kind of like this i kind of dig it um and the redstone ore here's the emerald uh, i changed the emerald texture uh to this and here's the emerald block this is actually the ruby texture uh, I should probably change the emerald ore to this. Uh, yeah, the emerald ore will be changed when I release the, uh, when I put the texture pack download up. When this video is uploaded, this will be changed. Uh, and then I've got the diamond, the diamond block, and the diamond ore. Only the diamond ore is changed. I might restore the original emerald texture. I don't know. And moving on, we've got the glass and the glass panes. So, uh, I've made all of the glass clear, uh, which I really like. It looks kind of nice. Looks really nice, actually, without those cracks in it. Um, but it still has the borders and very clear, very crystalline. Then we've got the white stained glass, the orange stained glass, the magenta stained glass. No, this is the purple. No, it's the magenta. The light blue stained glass the yellow stained glass and the green stained glass and those all look very nice and they're all uh, they're all very clear and over here we've got the pink stained glass oh and above them is the wools the wools I also removed all the texture from and made them simpler so here's the white wool the orange wool the magenta wool the light blue wool the yellow wool the green wool the pink wool the black wool black stained glass and black stained glass panes the light gray wool the light gray uh, gla stained glass, the cyan wool, and the cyan glass panes, purple, purple glass panes, uh, blue wool, blue glass panes, brown wool, brown glass panes, and glass, uh, dark green, or just regular green, wool, glass panes, and glass, red wool, red panes, and red glass, and black wool, black glass, and black, uh, glass panes. Did I say black? I meant dark gray. And then, carrying on to the next item, we have the bed. This is the bed item. It's a nice green bed. And then here's the actual bed. Uh, I think 
Oh no, that glitch has been finally patched. Finally. Okay, good. Moving on, we have the redstone lamps. Here it is in its unpowered state. And here it is in its powered state. I, I actually really like this over the old one. Uh, and then here's the just the regular item. Then we've got the repeaters. Here's the unpowered repeater. See, I made those two little arrows off to the side because um, I don't really like that arrow in the middle. I don't think it's uh, good enough, so I made those two. And then here's the repeater when it's powered. It's got those two arrows lit up. And then moving on, we've got the redstone. I made this so that it wasn't a scattered line, but a long, thin, straight line. And then here's the redstone section. This is the unpowered version. And then here's the powered redstone. Aw, oh, it looks really nice. And the powered section. Okay, moving on, we have the doors. Obviously, I replaced the middle section of the door with uh, with glass and then iron bars, according to which door it was. And they open perfectly fine. And I kind of like this better. Moving on here, uh, let's put ourselves in survival. You can see that I have this special taskbar. Uh, it doesn't have the borders, but instead it has nice shadows and a little cursor at the bottom that goes underneath the, uh, the, 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 the circle. And so now if we give ourselves some XP, where's my XP button? You can see I have 50 levels. Um, if I type just slash XP uh, 50 TXCW, it'll fill up my bar some more like that and it's got a very vibrant green texture which I really really like uh, I showed that off in the last Hobbit craft but I'm really really fond of that texture I really like the green uh, green is one of my favorite colors and now moving on today this is the sun it's round ooh mysterious it, when it's late in the day like a time set 1200 maybe you can see the colors more uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, 1300, let's try that, there we go, yeah, you can see the colors on the edge, so if we do like 1250, you should be able to see, see it the best, yeah, so you can see the different colors on the edge, uh, it looks very nice, I think that the round sun looks a ton better than the square sun, and the moon is coming up, uh, so it's set to night, We've got round moons that are smaller than the sun to make it more accurate. And all the different moon phases are um, are different uh, different circles and they're all the same size. So if we do time set 1500, yeah, you can see the moon. Looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty, pretty sweet. So uh, there's all the different moon phases you'll see as you play. And now if we go in back into creative... We can, oh, also, since it's night, this is the glowstone. I made it white, and I think that it looks really awesome white. I don't really like the old glowstone texture. It looks pretty bad, but, um, yeah. So that's why I changed it to white. Let's change it back to day. Then also I've got this custom little reticule. Uh, it's not the crosshairs, but instead it's a square, the square corners, and I like this better. I think it's better for uh, blocks, so like you can see where the blocks roughly gonna go, kind of like that. Um, it's really uh, your opinion. Like the crosshairs, perfectly fine, but I kind of like this uh, for some reason. I think it's a lot better. And then over here we have the water. The water has been changed to a light blue Caribbean-ish texture. Um, I really, really like this water. Like, water is a big part of games for me. Uh, the color of water it, uh, and how the water looks, it's a big part of games for me. Uh, and I really like how I made my water, how I made it a light blue. And then lava, I did not change because um, it's animated. Well, I could have made it more vibrant, maybe. But, yeah, so um, that's my custom resource pack. I hope I've covered everything. Uh, you'll be able to explore it uh, when you download it. If you download it, you'll download it. I'll make you. But it's got this custom little icon as well. Um, and I'm going to be updating it as patches come out. And I'm going to need to make a... Uh, I mean, as updates come out to Minecraft, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some a few patches. Like, um... I may update the swords at one point so that they're not like this, but instead they've got one sharp point because uh, I like those looking swords better. I think it's called a Felora, is what it's called, maybe. 
and also I'm probably going to, um, well, right now there's a little bug that I can't figure out where it's not displaying my title, it's just displaying the straight, uh, pixelated title. Um, like for my friend it was working, and on other versions it's working, I don't know if it's just like a problem with this version or what. But, yeah, and then before this gets released, this emerald texture will have been changed to the stone texture with this emerald, this custom little emerald over it. But anyways, guys, let's just stare at that majestic chunk error, and I will do my outro. So, thank you all for watching, and if you liked the video, then be sure to like the video. Uh, be sure to enjoy this majestic chunk error. Wow, this actually is pretty majestic. There's, like, caves and stuff in here. Hmm, this is weird. But anyways, if you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.